and this is my do-it-yourself grid tie solar setup. I've had it on this shed for probably about two, three years and it's working really nicely so I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you about it. Really easy to do. I've got eight panels on the roof. The bigger panels are all 100 watts and the small panels are 50 watts. I got some different mates just to see how efficient they were and which ones were best and to be honest I've not seen a great deal of difference in the performance um, of the 100 watts obviously I can't compare the 50 watts to the 100 watts but uh, you know what I mean right so that's the panels um, held on with some brackets that I got specifically for, for solar panels but then when I got the 250 watt ones I just got some um, angle brackets from the hardware store put them on and hey, it's worked really well so there the panels face sort of southeast get quite a bit of sun at this time of year and we've not done too bad there's not been much rain or cloud or anything like that so we've uh, we've done okay up to now we'll go inside and i'll show you the inverters so here we are inside the shed we've got three grid tie inverters on the wall here that the solar panels connect into the inverters then connect into a strip and the strip connects into a watt meter there where we're able to monitor just how much power we've generated so the inverters are slightly different the top one is a 1000 watt grid tie inverter and the two center ones um, they're both 600 watt inverters <coughs> dead easy to set up just connect the output from the solar panel at one end and plug in at the other end plug it into the mains and fire it up and there you go you're generating power it's that easy with these with these inverters so as i said we've had them on for about two and a half years generated about nearly 2000 um, kilowatt hours in that time which isn't bad for this part of the world we do get quite a lot of cloud and rain at the moment we'll see let's see if we can get it yeah so we're generating about 300 and 80 watts um, of power which is about half of the, the rating of the panels but I do need to get up there and give them a clean and it's still quite early in the morning so we've not got the benefit of full sunshine just yet but that 380 watts is more than enough to provide power for the house at the moment there's nobody in so the only thing it's powering are things like the fridge the freezer um, digital clocks that um, might be plugged into the mains and then stuff like the uh, the Sky TV box. So I, I did go around the house with a watt meter and check all of those appliances when there was nobody around and I worked out it was consuming about between 250 and 300 watts. So we're generating more than enough electricity to meet the needs of the house at the moment which is ideal. There's nobody in but the house is still using power and if we can offset it by generating our own then we're saving some money and I think last count we saved about 60 pounds a month on our electricity bill <coughs> over last year so um, it's working really well really pleased with it not too expensive really easy to do well within the scope of anybody that's um, handy with a screwdriver and um, yeah not too technical so um, worth the investment doesn't recoup the money straight away but um, maybe after a year or so, dependent on how much sunshine you get, you'll, um, you'll see the benefit. So that's it. Thanks for watching.